All our life we have heard that we should keep exercising if we want to remain healthy. Despite knowing this, we continue to dismiss exercising from our daily routine. If only we had a way to understand what actually happens to you when you start exercising. Today we will be talking about what really happens when you start exercising. Ask yourself this question. You will probably say we start to cut weight and become more fit. That is just a small part of the whole story. But do not worry, after you are done with this video, I am sure you will have all the required knowledge regarding exercising. This will not only help you understand, but it will also help you adopt the art of exercising. First of all, we will discuss what actually happens to us after we start exercising. After we have discussed all the temporary changes that take place in the latter part of the video, we will discuss the general advantages of exercising. So, what happens after you start exercising? The body is quick to adapt to all sorts of situations, and that is why as soon as we start exercising, it starts to prepare itself. Initially, physiological processes start to get stimulated, such as our cardiorespiratory system, which springs into action, while on the other hand, our digestive system slows down. As you can see, this is just the start. So the brain is preparing itself for the physical excursion the body has to deal with later on. But this is just the start, folks. The real changes begin afterward. After approximately 10 minutes of exercising, blood flow has now increased drastically. It flows to the target muscles, which can be anyone from the body. For example, during running, the blood flow increases towards the legs and vice versa. But most importantly, this blood also flows toward the brain. This is very important as blood flow towards the brain helps us block pain that may occur due to the physical excursion. It also makes us more alert and sharper. This can be confirmed by any person that works out more often. A common myth here persists that people get tired and lazy after workouts. But the truth is that if you do it correctly, you will feel even better after your workouts. We got a little sidetracked there. So where were we? Yes, blood flow to the brain also allows it to determine how much energy resources the body might need to fuel this exercise. This depends on a variety of different factors. What kind of diet do you usually take? How much time before the excursion did you eat anything? Depending on the answers, the body prepares itself accordingly. If you have a high-calorie meal before your exercise chances are it will be used to fuel the exercise. If you eat an hour before, then it will burn your fat stores, depending on how much you ate and how much you are exercising. And lastly, if you exercise fasted, then the brain will directly use your fat stores to produce energy which fuels the workout. That is why many nutritionists and trainers suggest running fasted as it helps with weight cutting and shedding fat. Now let us talk about a scenario during which we go long intervals of continuous exercise. An example of this could be during the gym. Well, the body will adapt to use its energy stores whilst trying to minimize the wastage of energy. After an hour you also become weak and fatigued due to the buildup of lactic acid inside your muscles, which lets us know that the muscles cannot be used anymore. When the buildup of lactic acid becomes quick and often, it is a sign that you have run out of energy and you should rest. Another important point here that should be noted is that these changes alter accordingly to the type of workout. Weightlifting will cause fatigueness of the target muscles, while cardio mostly affects the legs and abdomen. Imagine you have completed your workout and now you are resting. This is the stage when the body starts to recover. The faster your body can return to its resting state, the better it will try to do so. The time it takes to recover depends on your physical state at the time. Usually, the fitter you are, the quicker your body can recover itself. The lactic acid that had started to fatigue muscles also starts to wear off. That is why we feel satisfied as our muscles relax. If we had to summarize this process in a simple sentence, Whatever was slowed during the physical activity will now accelerate, while whatever was sped up during exercise will generally slow down. As a result, the body slowly returns to normal. 
But an interesting phenomenon occurs here. During this recovery stage, there is frequently an overreaching effect, in which the body overcompensates rather than just returning to normal pre-exercise levels, meaning the body goes over to the other extreme, even below or above the normal point it had before. That is why people may have post-exercise hypotension after working out. It is due to this phenomenon. Another important point here is that sometimes, especially when you exercise the first time, as it will be the first time your muscles have been stretched, they will result in micro tears in the muscle fiber. These tears will really hurt you after some days, but don't be alarmed folks. The pain is part of the process. When these tears heal up, the muscle becomes even stronger as it now has adapted that the human body is exerting more force. That is why rest is crucial after exercise, as you need to recover those micro tears and recover adequately so that you can quickly become stronger for your next exercise. Now that you have learned what happens when you start exercising, let us talk about the many advantages of exercising. It would be impossible to name every benefit of consistent exercise because they are so numerous. We all know our physical health gets better as we exercise more and more, but besides that, our mental health also gets better. You get relaxed. It is especially important to release that pent-up energy we sometimes have, such as anger and frustration. It also makes us handier, as we are more physically capable of doing everyday tasks. It helps us reduce our weight by cutting fat. It also helps us grow muscle, which makes us physically strong. It teaches us discipline as we learn to work based on a routine. For example, if you work out daily at 5 a.m., you will become disciplined enough to wake up daily at 5 a.m. just to work out. This really helps in our professional life. That is not all. As many people have said that due to exercise and working out their confidence has increased drastically. It gives people a sense of satisfaction and victory as they see their bodies transform after weeks of hard work. This really boosts self-confidence. That is not all. Exercise has been demonstrated to increase productivity, as you will not get tired as often. It will also decrease your sick days and lower out-of-pocket medical costs for people who already have chronic illnesses like type 2 diabetes, for example. The negative effects of such diseases tend to minimize if you exercise. But do ask your doctor before attempting to do so. If I had to summarize the many benefits exercise has, you will have a new outlook on life, be happier, and be healthier. I know it feels like you have heard this a lot of times, but trust us, exercise and working out does wonders for your life. You just need the level of consistency and discipline, and see yourself experience a happy and satisfying life. In the end, I would just like to say that every one of you should exercise. Even if it is small and light in intensity, you should at least integrate an exercise program into your daily routine. Nowadays, there is false propaganda that people have only one life. They should enjoy it by eating whatever they want and relaxing. This is not the best way, because trust me when I say that, when you start exercising, your life will become amazing. Give it a try with a small one-month training program. If you are satisfied with the results, do let us know in the comments down below. We value the feedback of our esteemed subscribers, so do not hesitate to do so. That is it for the video. I hope you liked and enjoyed it. Please let me know by pressing the like button. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Till then, take care of yourself, and I will see you guys at the next one.